From the patient files of Dr. Hugo Strange, Director of Arkham Asylum. Patient, Pamela Isley, also known as Poison Ivy. Session 21. So, Pamela, how are we feeling today? I feel fine, Doctor. That's good. I have something for you here, Pamela. A plant. Oh my, it is beautiful. Is it for me? Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Doctor. You know what you could do with that plant? Yes. What could you do with it? I could use it to take over this entire asylum. Yes, with that one small plant. But you don't feel like it. No. That is very good, Pamela. Doctor, have you noticed something different about me? Yes, it's pretty hard not to notice it. Your skin is beginning to turn a shade of green. Do you think it suits me? I suppose so. I don't quite understand it, though. Your uh, body doesn't quite work the same as a normal human being's. I was frightened at first. But not any longer. Why is that? I think... I think I'm changing into what I was always meant to be. I think I'm becoming more plant than human. Last week I discovered a flower growing in my hair. It was so pretty. It was a red petunia. I, uh, I can't say I understand what is happening to you, Pamela. It is far beyond my area of expertise. It's nothing to worry about. It's just natural progression, I think. But why now? Well, I think it's because I'm finally one with myself. I'm at peace. I used to be so... Misguided, so angry, full of rage and malice. All those schemes to take over Gotham, turn it into a jungle. It was all so silly, childish. The angry temper tantrums of an immature little girl. You were right about Batman, Doctor. I wouldn't have come here if it weren't for him. Oh, really? Yes. There was something about him. Something mysterious, alluring, animalistic. I was drawn to him. I wanted to face him. But now, the allure is gone. The romance is dead. He's not the creature of the night he seemed. He's just a sad little boy. A sad little boy who misses his parents. I feel sorry for him. I hope you can help him, Doctor. Help him as you've helped me. Help him grow and move on with his life so he can live in peace. So do I, Pamela. So do I. Well, as it seems now, you will be ready to leave in a couple of months. How do you feel about that? I can't even describe how wonderful it feels. 
Have you given some thought on what we spoke of earlier? Yes, I have. And? Well, Gotham is no place for me. It never was, obviously. So you will leave? I will, yes. Any idea where to? Nature. The jungles. You have a specific place in mind? The Amazon. I see. I will travel to South America and just sort of feel my way around. I will go to the deepest, most secluded part of the Amazon rainforest and build my home there. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. I feel like once I'm there, I'm going to... Oh, it's a bit hard to explain. Yes? Well, I feel like me, Pamela Isley, will cease to exist. I'm going to become part of the jungle. It'll absorb me. It's what should happen. It's what's supposed to happen. But it still scares me a little. Well, as I said, the nature of your physiology is far beyond my area of expertise. But uh, I do understand the mind, and any new change, especially drastic ones, can seem very frightening, especially at first. That is only normal. But if you feel that this is what you should do, and that this is what you need to do in order to be at peace, then I say do it. Yes, Doctor. It's time for Poison Ivy, would-be conqueror, to die. That is very good to hear, Pamela. Well, I suppose I'll see you next session then. Probably be our last, by the way. <laughs>